Sego. Hello everyone and welcome back to another Just For Kids video. This week, um, it's our last week of our Just For Kids program for the month of September. So we wanted to do something a little different, something a little fun. This week we'll be working on making some corn mosaics. Now in your kit you will receive a decent sized chunk of air dry clay. Now I only grabbed 10 packages of the air dry clay so my example today is just going to be on a white piece of paper. However with the clay um, you can go ahead and let your designs dry into that clay and because it's air dry you'll be able to do whatever you want with it afterwards. So in addition to your air dry clay that you'll receive in your kit you're also going to receive some colored corn. So here you can see I've got blue, green, yellow, and red. And if I'm being totally honest, I got a little excited while mixing colors, so uh, there are some little surprises that will be tucked away in your, in your kit. So the whole point of the activity is just to let your creative mind go and create some designs or some pictures or whatever it is that you want to do with your colored corn. Now you can, um, with your clay, again because it's air dry, you can leave it on, you can take it off, you can start over again, it's entirely up to you. So for right now, I am just going to start to create, I'm just going to make a picture of my own here, I think. That's my plan anyway. So I've got, I used some blue corn. And if you're wondering how I dyed the corn, what I did was I found a glass container, jar, you can even use a plastic bag. I put some corn into the bag, then I added some water. So essentially, if you've got a jar, you could put one cup of water, one cup of white vinegar, then put your food coloring in, mix it all around, and from there, you can then add in your corn. So add in your corn, give it a good shake, and let it sit. Uh, you can let it sit for a couple hours, or if you have the time, you can also let it sit overnight. And then when you are ready to take it out, all you have to do is pour it into a strainer or a spoon that has those little holes and you're gonna take it out. You're gonna wanna make sure you rinse it just to get any of the excess, um, any of the excess vinegar off. And then you just let it dry. And as long as you make sure you let it dry completely, you should be good to go. If you're not using all of your corn with your clay, that's totally fine. You can also do it the way that I'm doing here with paper. Um, I could have added some glue for myself just to make them stick, but you know what? I wasn't really sure what I wanted to create at this point, so I figured the best thing to do would be to create something so that I could take it apart afterwards if I wanted to. So for me, I think I am just going to, I'm honestly not even sure what it is I'm making. I'm just putting some patterns or putting some patterns together here. Create a design that's a little abstract, I guess. But really, this is the whole point of Today's activity. It's a way to get creative, use your imagination, but also encourage some fine motor skills, which would be picking up the corn. Um, with your clay, you're also going to be rolling and kneading the clay. So there's a lot of different fine motor activities that will happen, and, and your fingers will definitely be put to good use. So this is my little creation for now. I hope that you enjoy this activity and I certainly hope that you'll send in some photos of what your finished products look like so that we can share them with each other 
It's always nice to see how creative we all can be, especially since we're not able to get together in person to do this activity. I'd love to see some of your photos. We will be continuing the Just For Kids program in October, so if you haven't already registered, please feel free to do so. You can reach out to Jocelyn or myself to get into the program, and I look forward to seeing you all again in October. Till next time, Ona!